For local businesses refusing to close their doors, they say enough is enough and they want their day in court. And this morning, they'll get that chance. ABC 10 News reporter Vanessa Paz joining us live this morning. Vanessa, this comes as the county is cracking down on those not following the new restrictions. Right, Jim, amid the purple tier, businesses in on this lawsuit, including Fit Athletic here in Little Italy, can set up shop outside and operate that way. But they're saying that it's nearly impossible to stay afloat financially if they were to choose that route, which is why they are jumping in on this lawsuit among four, three other businesses against Governor Gavin Newsom, the County of San Diego, as well as other state and county officials requesting the judge grant an injunction that would allow businesses to reopen indoors under strict health and safety protocols. Now, in part, the suit points out the financial challenges they've had to face since the pandemic and the effects this roller coaster ride of moving outdoors and inside and now fully outdoors has had on business. They also argue the regulations go against their rights and that these agencies lack the authority to impose these ongoing restrictions. Now, days before moving into the purple tier, last weekend, Dr. Wilma Wooten, San Diego's public health officer, asked the state to allow businesses to continue with rules under the red tier umbrella instead of purple because COVID tracing since June has shown bars and restaurants made up 9% of the locations those testing positive told investigators they visited weeks prior, while gyms made up 0.4%. However, nothing came of that request and the state replied the county's metrics are out of line with what's needed to remain in the red tier as San Diego COVID cases continue to surge. Now again, back here live in Little Italy, this hearing expected to happen at 830 and we will continue to keep you updated throughout the morning here and online at 10news.com. Reporting in downtown this morning, Vanessa Paz, ABC 10 News.